Never stop developing yourself. If you're an independent music artist, hoping to have some success and create an income from your music, then you should be in a constant state of development and improvement. Think about the level of success that you currently have and the level that you are hoping to achieve and then consider what it is exactly that's required to get you there. And remember, artist development is not just about your music and talent, but it also involves strategy, music business knowledge, release campaigns, and some self-reflection. So consider how a label develops an artist, and then think about how you're gonna replicate all of this for yourself alongside the development of your music and talent. Think about all the successful artists that you're up against, and then be aware of what's around you in terms of your potential audience and what it's gonna take for you to build something. So while this isn't a competition, this does help you set a bar at a certain level that you know you're required to reach if you're gonna generate an income from your music. So don't compare yourself negatively to other artists. Be positively reinforced on what it is that you actually need to do to attain your own level of potential success. Be inspired by other artists. Be inspired by the artists that are out there that are having success, that are making music that people want to listen to, putting on shows that people want to buy tickets for, the ones who are getting signed and getting deals, the ones that know their way around the music business or have great release strategies. Be inspired by these artists. Are you doing all the things that you can to reach that level? Now, from the many independent artists that we coach and manage and have worked with, especially at the early stages of development, we've noticed that there are certain attitudes and characteristics in their approach to what they're doing. So before I get into exactly what it is that you should be doing, I just want to talk a little bit about mindset. Now, generally, artists who we work with, and I think most artists who are at the early stages of trying to build something, tend to have a pretty good level of drive and motivation. So I'm stating the blindingly obvious by saying that you need to be determined and have tenacity if you're going to build an income from your music. Okay, I think most artists already know this fact, and yet it still seems to come as an eye-opening awakening for artists when we actually do lay out just what is required, the sheer amount of work, time, knowledge and skills that are needed to actually build something sustainable. In fact, when I talk to new artists, I get concerned that it might seem overwhelming, but it doesn't have to feel like that, okay? It is manageable, it's just very difficult to do this on your own. So don't feel defeated or that you're not doing well enough, okay? You're not alone, okay? You are capable of developing yourself. Just remember that essentially what you're doing is you're trying to start your own business and that requires a lot from you. You need to give a lot of your time, a lot of your effort, and importantly, you need to learn new things. So let's just get one thing clear about mindset. Yes, I'm sure that you know that it's gonna take motivation and determination to be successful, etc., etc. blah, blah, blah. But it's really difficult when you are operating in isolation without others around you, you're outside of the music industry, you'd have no real feedback or guidance, you're not part of a community of artists and so on. It's very hard to know what it is that you don't know. And it is also really difficult to calculate your current level of success and to know what your real potential level of success could be. It can be very easy to think that you're working really hard, but to not actually question whether you're doing the right things. It can also be very easy to slip into comfort zones. And I can assure you that you will have blind spots to your strengths and weaknesses and your self-awareness, okay? You may assume that your music is good enough and that your talent is developed enough to get you where you think you need to be and that you're running good campaigns or that you know how to release music and promote yourself. You will become so used to just doing certain things in a certain way, creating your music in a particular way, performing and putting on shows in a certain way, releasing your music and promoting yourself in a certain way, that it's easy to become numb to what it is that you're doing or to how you could improve these things. I also find that some artists get concerned that by doing something different or new, that they may risk damaging what it is they've already achieved, or by trying something new and putting effort into new ideas, that they end up wasting time by doing things that didn't work out and that they end up taking a step backwards. So a key point of what I'm trying to express to you here 
is that to get yourself from your current level of success up to the next level of success is going to take some transformation from you. Okay, If you do not transform yourself, then it's highly unlikely that your circumstances will transform. So you may be working really hard and you may even be over-focusing on certain things or you're worried about the risk of changing certain things. But by not undergoing any transformation, you are already at risk of just standing still and going nowhere. So you need to push yourself in all areas of development. Okay, So if you've not had any success yet, you don't really know for sure what areas it is that you're supposed to be developing. So you therefore have to assume that you need to improve everything. So this is your music, your songwriting, your tracks, your recordings, your music business knowledge, your strategies, all of this kind of stuff. Once you start having some success, well then you can start analysing what it is that is driving your success and start doing more of that. But until that point, you need to make sure you've got all of your bases covered. For example, let's consider musical talent. So you might be a really good vocalist or musician, but I guarantee you, you could be better. It doesn't matter how good you already are. There's a really famous quote from a successful musician. I think he's a cellist. And when he was, he was quite old, he was in his 90s, and he was asked, why does he bother to still practice? And he replied, because I think I'm starting to make progress. So be honest with yourself and you know, look me in the eyes and tell me that you don't honestly think that you've got some areas for improvement. There's no shame in this. Now, this is what artistic endeavour is all about, isn't it? So there's nothing wrong with this. This is a good thing. You should be trying to improve all of the time. Okay, if you feel like you need to be getting better at your live performance, then go and do a load of gigs and practice on that. Okay, work on your techniques. Work on what you are as an artist and how you're performing things. Okay, if you feel like you could benefit from some music lessons or some vocal teaching, then invest in yourself and go and do this. If you're a vocalist, maybe you can improve on your tone or your range or your breathing techniques, or you could learn how to sing without damaging your voice when you're having to sing constantly all the time. I've worked with some amazing tutors in my time, and some of them are able to transform a vocalist's tone just from one lesson, or can improve a musician's technique just from a simple suggestion. Okay, so don't fall into the trap of thinking that you are good enough already, or that you have to portray the image that you're already good enough. Okay, don't be afraid to take lessons and invest in yourself. There's no shame in this. It's a positive thing. Successful artists are always continually developing. And if you need to get someone to help you do this, then do so. Okay, There's, It's a classic struggling musicians thing of people who are at the beginning of trying to find some success. Is that they kind of feel it's more impressive in some way to be self-taught. Okay, There's no shame in this. No one cares how you get good. It's just, can you get good? That's what it's about. Then let's consider your songs and recordings. Are they genuinely great? I mean, are there things that you could do to improve this? Are you being self-critical? I mean, have you got an artistic voice developed? Have you got a unique sonic landscape? Does your music have an identity that can connect with an audience? Okay, are you focusing on these things? And what things are you focusing on? What are you doing to push this forwards for yourself? Then have you considered how the music industry and the music business side of things works for yourself? I mean, do you understand how all the different sectors of the industry work and how royalties and money is moved around everywhere and how you can plug yourself into this? Do you know who you're supposed to be pitching yourself to and how to do it and when to do it? What strategies are you following when you're releasing music? Are you developing yourself and building momentum? Are you learning how to manage yourself within the industry? Are you looking at successful artists and thinking, how are they doing all the things that they're doing and how can I replicate these things for myself? So are you finding out about all of these things? And are you learning to improve? Are you investing your time and your money to improving your knowledge and skills? This approach to constant development is what's needed. So maybe you are good enough at certain things. Maybe you've got good music, but you don't know how to turn that into a music business. Or maybe you've got really good marketing strategies and you're quite good at promoting yourself, but your music's just not quite developed enough for you to be able to cut through. There are all these factors that you need to keep your attention on and you need to keep working on all of them until you begin to get some traction and some momentum. And don't think that somebody is going to come along from the industry and you're going to get signed or discovered and that's going to save you from ever having to do all of this work and development yourself. Okay? Yes, occasionally that might happen to somebody, but for everybody else, for most artists, you need to adopt this much broader strategy.
So stop thinking that success is something that eventually comes to you and instead always be developing yourself towards it. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful. Please don't forget to like and share. We really do appreciate it and we'll see you next time.